Hey everyone, it's me, Cynthia. Welcome back to Inspiro. So today I'm gonna to share with you my DIY loft curtains. You can see them behind me and I'm so happy with how they turned out. If you're here for a budget-friendly DIY way to install your curtains, whether you have huge loft windows or just a normal size window in your apartment or condo, I hope that this video can help. I use this exact same curtain system in my last two apartments. One was a normal window size and the other was for a divider situation. I wanted to DIY this because custom curtains and blinds and anything to do with windows can get so expensive and I'm also going to give you the measurements that I use so that you can hopefully use that as an example. For today I'm going to share the little hacks and things that we did differently this time because I do have such massive windows so let's get into it. These are the things that you need to prepare beforehand. First is to get measurements of your <laughs> windows <laughs> and I spent so many hours double checking with like measuring tapes and everything. I think the most important is the height and then also the width. The actual curtain system, we use the Dignitet from Ikea and this is one of the most affordable curtain systems that has the most strength. So one package comes with the two ends and the curtain wire. The other thing that you need to know about this is that it doesn't come with the screws or um, the screw mounts that you want to put into your wall as support. So Ikea also sells these, but my dad says that most people and dads will have these. You'll need a drill and you'll need, I think, a screwdriver too to like get these into the wall. <laughs> we also used wire stoppers and then this little like pull thing to help secure and like add more support for the tension. I don't really know what it's called, but I'll leave it on the screen and I'll try to Google it for you after. That's essentially what you need. And then of course is your curtains. With these curtains, I opted for this type of uh, curtain style at the top, the multi-use. These curtains are from a brand called April Notes and they are a small woman-owned business out of Europe. And these are all Ecotech certified linens. Linen is also a great sustainability-minded fabric as well. I love the natural texture. They're so soft too for linen. And this is an ethical brand. It's all made ethically too. So go check April Notes out. And yeah, I can't rave about them enough. I did also go to a fabric shop in Toronto to get an estimate for buying my own yards of linen and sewing it myself but when it came down to how much it cost it would have been almost the exact same price and I didn't want to <laughs> try to sew them myself so honestly it just depends so yeah that's like the most pricey part of this but that's why I wanted to opt for a more affordable curtain system and that's why we hacked and MacGyvered together what I'm about to show you today. I have three windows on this wall and they are divided by a small like foot and a half of drywall in between. Not fully floor to ceiling because of these pipes that were in the way and I still wanted the look of a kind of floor to ceiling like very elevated um, hidden uh, curtain system. I didn't really want the look of rods. I also do have blackout blinds behind it so you can see these casings and it's because my unit faces east so it gets really hot during the day especially in the summer because I get that morning light all the way until like 2 or 3 p.m. and when I moved in the AC unit was actually broken because it couldn't keep up and my old original blinds, whoo, they were vintage. <laughs> so with that in mind, you can see the before and after. So let's dive into how we did it. When you're trying to decide how many of these packs you need or how many supports you need, it will be based on the width of your windows as well as the weight of your curtains. We use two, one for the one big window and then one with an additional support for the other big window plus the side small like skinny window. One of these curtain wire systems I think supports six pounds but my curtain panels, one of them is about four pounds, so it's eight pounds total. So it's a bit heavier than what they recommend, which is why it kind of like droops a little bit in the middle. We only bought two sets and there's no Ikea close to here, so we had to make do. Setting it up is the same for everybody. You'll want to install both ends with the, um, the holds. This is gonna differ for everybody, but just mark where it is and just follow the instructions. You basically want to insert the supports for those screws and then screw it in and then attach the base and then the wire goes into the clip and then this actual system you're able to tighten it with this um, what's it called once you have the two supports in you basically want to slide in your curtains and then uh, cut the wire to the right length insert that to the uh, support and then you can adjust the tension so that's what's going to keep 
the entire wire straight. So that's what we did for both sides, but on the side with the uh, additional skinny window, we had the support in the middle too. It did stay, but we weren't confident that it would be able to support the curtain weight because again, it was heavier than um, what these are meant to do. So if you are opting for like semi-sheer curtains, like the ones I'm using and you have similar window sizes as me, what we did was first we got wire stoppers and that was for around the support that's between my side window and then my middle window because you know, that is one whole line. It wasn't enough to support that entire thing. What the wire stoppers did was increase like how much strength it had for the panel on the skinny window and then as well as my big window in the middle. The other thing we did was because we wanted to support the two um, supports we had side by side on this drywall panel that's in between my two massive windows so that's where uh, we got this little thing with two hooks it basically has these hooks on both sides and then you can screw them tighter and then that basically helps uh, kind of hold these two supports together so it just created more strength and more tension there otherwise they were both being pulled by the weight of the curtains on the wire to each of the other sides if that makes sense and this piece was like two dollars it was almost the exact size that we needed but it was a bit too long so my dad just sawed off the ends a little bit of each side of these little screws and he just hooked them around the base of this curtain wire system and that held together the ends there and that was basically it that helped you know give this the strength that it needs to hold this up and we got away with not having to have that additional middle support in the middle of my big windows because that was something that i didn't want to do since there's this gap created by these random air pillar thingies that is essentially it that was how we got these curtains hung up and that's what we did to help strengthen the curtain system that we're using for curtain wires this is a great option if you also have this weird gap at the top of your windows if you have pipes like me if not then i'm sure it'll be easier for you and you'll have more options for a system that's like 17 dollars from ikea this is a really great option and i think it worked out really well usually when you need custom rods like curtain rods themselves can be so expensive and sometimes you don't want that look i hope that you enjoyed and like I mentioned earlier, the most expensive part of this depends on the types of curtains that you actually want to hang because fabric can get really expensive, especially if you're looking for linen. If you don't need custom sized curtains, you are set because there are so many great sheer options out there. If you do need custom sizing, I will leave April notes below. They also offer normal sizing and I love the quality, sustainability and ethics. I'm based in Canada and they are based in Europe. So I did pay duties for these. So that's essentially it. If you have any other questions, please leave them down below check out the description box i will leave a very detailed overview with links and everything that i shared in this video please subscribe if you're new here leave a like if you enjoyed and found this helpful otherwise i hope that you enjoyed watching and i'll see you in my next video bye everyone